You'll see it on hillsides in many parts of Spain. A huge black bull. To the foreigner, it typifies the country. El Toro, the bull. And of course we associate the bull with Spain because the bullfight is a traditional part of Spanish life. Although of course it's slowly dying out in many parts of Spain. Actually what seems like a bit of a tradition, the black bull, is actually a comparatively recent invention because these huge black bull hoardings are actually an advertisement for Spanish sherry producer Osborne. The black bull motif has been the trademark of Osborne for decades and back in 1956 they wanted to advertise a new product called Brandy de Jerez so they erected huge black bulls around Spain with details written on it. Over the years, changes in advertising rules prevented firms erecting large hoardings within 150 metres of a road. So Osborne decided to build huge black bulls with Osborne emblazoned on them in very conspicuous places. However, in 1994 all adverts for alcoholic beverages were banned as well. However, the Osborne bull had already entered into the nation's psyche and Osborne were allowed to keep their Black Bull hoardings as part of the cultural heritage, on condition that the firm's name was removed to only show a plain Black Bull. Foreigners may not know what the bulls are about, but every Spanish person knows that these are Osborne bulls. And the Black Bull has become a symbol of Spain, and there are lots of souvenirs with the Osborne bull on it, doubtless swelling Osborne's coffers with royalties. Right through history, the bull has been a symbol of strength, power and vitality. Some ancient civilizations worship bulls and cattle are still revered in the Hindu system today. Similarly, right into the Jewish system of sacrifice, the bull was one of the few animals which were Corban, clean animals fit for sacrifice. But could the killing of a bull or any other animal for that matter deal with human sin? That is, the wrong things that people do, think or say. The answer is no. Here's what the letter to the Hebrews in the Bible says. It's not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Sacrificing some poor creature doesn't deal with anyone's wrongdoing and it keeps men and women separated from God. If you feel far away from God right now, not knowing him, then I guess you know what I mean. But God did have a solution to the problem of people's sin. Let me read you another little piece of the letter to the Hebrews. Under the Old Covenant, the priest stands and ministers before the altar day after day, offering the same sacrifices again and again, which can never take away sins. But our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good for all time. Then he sat down in the place of honour at God's right hand. And of course the high priest, the writer to the Hebrews is referring to, is Jesus. And just what was Jesus' sacrifice? Here's another symbol you'll see a lot of in Spain, the cross. It's a symbol of what Jesus has done for us. He died on the cross to deal with what keeps all of us separate from God, our wrongdoing, our sin. And now God offers each person the opportunity of forgiveness which he freely gives us in Jesus Christ and we enter into a personal relationship with him both throughout our lives and into eternity. So why not take up God's offer of forgiveness and enter into a relationship with him today?